Hi, welcome to Photoshop class with Gwen Nicodemus of Shiny Notes. In this lesson, we'll learn how to copy images into Photoshop. So, we're starting off with a PowerPoint screen. Notice Cinderella's slipper. See the size of the rectangle around it? That's the whole size of Cinderella's slipper there. However, this flower has a lot of white space on it. This newt with flowers on it, or lizard or gecko or whatever, has a lot of white space. This is this these flowers are shaped very different. They're long and flat. Waterfall and another flower on a black background. So here we go. We click on the image we're gonna copy, and then we need to copy it into our buffer. So you can hit Control C or you can click on the little copy button here. It's in the buffer. Go into Photoshop. Now, Photoshop, you're going to do File, New, to open up a new layer, a new file. It pulled these sizes from the image in the copy buffer. So it's going to be perfectly sized. So I'm hitting OK, Edit, paste, or you could have done control V and see it is perfectly sized there. Now if we go back to the PowerPoint, let's copy in these flowers that have all this extra room at the side. So we're hitting copy, we're going file new, and look the size is different than before. And then edit paste. Notice on this one, because the original graphic had that extra white space in it, so does this image. Back to PowerPoint. Let's do this long flat object. Copy it. File new. Edit paste. And again, a completely different shape. Now, if we wanted to, see this one here, it's even, it's shaped different and it's going diagonal in it. So we'll copy, file new, edit, paste. Now, let's see if we can get this guy to be flat and narrow like those flowers were. First we need to rotate it. So we go up to image, rotate, and we need to do about 45 degrees. So we'll go arbitrary, and that brings us there. We'll go clockwise, 45 degrees, and then that animal is flat. And then this is our cropping tool and we can crop that there and now the extra space is gone. 